Thank you very much. I would like to thank everyone for being here this evening. Such a beautiful, wonderful space. I'd like to thank Tierney uh, for her introduction of me. I'm going to conclude my remarks tonight by talking about Tierney a little more. I'd like to thank Dr. Adams for her introduction. I'd like to recognize members of the Council. Thank them for being in attendance tonight. I would especially like to recognize uh, Matt Cherry. He is the district member of Council who represents uh, this part of Toledo. He is also the president of Toledo City Council. I believe he's doing an excellent job in both capacities, and I would like us to give him a round of applause. <laughs> because after 70 years of fighting about water, last year we signed the Regional Water Agreement that will put behind us the petty fighting and the squabbling and the disagreements over our most precious resource in this region, our water. Nobody thought we could do that. And in fact, we have been fighting over water so long that there are communities in our region, Oregon, that only exist because we've been so good at fighting with each other over water over the years. We're, those days are over. We did something that I don't think a lot of people thought we could do. We put together a plan that works for us, works for our suburban partners, and will breed, I hope, an era to operation with our neighbors. This election magazine really is the Bible of the job location community. They ranked us third in the entire country for economic growth for cities our size, and actually best in Ohio. Uh, Kempler Industries ranked us fourth in the United States for manufacturing jobs. The Associated General Contractors said that Toledo is the, from 2018 to 2019, year over year, the fifth fastest growing construction market in the country, and that's us in the country. We created over 800 new jobs, retained almost 800 more. That resulted in almost $400 million of capital investment. What I think I might like the best is this story. For the second straight year, there was an international auto supplier that had never expanded beyond the boundaries of its own country. In 2018, the company uh, was called Topia. Uh, they were a Japanese company. In this past year, it was Axiom, a Canadian company. Those companies had never expanded beyond Japan and Canada. They knew it was time to move into the American market, and they could have chosen any city in the entire country to expand their operations. And for two years in a row, major auto suppliers chose Toledo as the place they wanted to be. That's a, as these things go, that's a pretty significant decrease in overall crime rate. The fire department is an example of where we have seen improvements. And when people talk about what a great job Brian Bird is doing as chief, they are talking about a lot of things. I might point to his leadership on making our fire service more diverse and reflecting the diversity of our community. Under his leadership, if there is one area I can assure you we are doing better, much better, than we have done in a long time, it is on the budget. When I became mayor, we had a $3 million deficit. A little over two years later, we had a $17 million surplus. We have a negative rainy day fund when you not only have no money in the bank, but you pay debts to one person by removing money from a debt you to owe to someone else. That's where we were 10 years ago. Today, as we stand here, we have a rainy day fund of almost $24 million. Are we improving? You bet we're improving. 